Hello everyone, I just woke up and saw this on my YouTube feed. It turns out we have a lot of information about the new fair free to play PvP mod that coming into the game. Now let's take a look at the details we know so far. And the game mode is called Chasing the Deer Forest. I don't know what's the name gonna be in the global version, but this game mode is available in China for now, but it's gonna be available worldwide soon, but we don't know when. And it's a free to play fair game mode that plays like a battle royale. Now let's start reading. The world is full of dangers and unknowns and everyone is looking for a chance to survive. You must work with your teammates to constantly explore and find resources to ensure your own safety. In the process of survival, constantly improve your strength to make yourself stronger. Also stay alert at all times. Beware of other squads trying to catch you by surprise. So we are playing with teams. This is a battle full of challenges. Only those adventurers who are strong and brave enough can gain a foothold in it and win endless glory in the end. Actually, this game mode might be called Zilu Forest. Six teams with 24 people, each team competes in the same field for each faction. Kill monsters to upgrade and collect resources in the deer forest. And fight against other teams in the ever-shrinking safe area so that you can survive to the end. So basically we have a map and it shrinks just like other battle royale game modes. And it shows us early access servers, these are probably Chinese servers. And they mentioned early access time but that doesn't really apply to us so I'm skipping that. And now we have the winning rules. This is a friendly match organized by the Gladiator Guild. There are 6 teams with 24 people in total. In the competition the first team to defeat 12 people or survive to the end will win the final victory. If all team members are defeated, they will be eliminated from the game and can re-register to participate. Perfect. And next we have the rules. The entry character is level 1 and recovers its own strength by defeating monsters and players in the game. The secondary equipment, which means the set items, on the left of the character is not brought into the game but can be obtained from the treasure chest in the arena. Defeating players can get the opponent's equipments and legendary gems. So probably we are not going in with our legendary gems or any equipment, but probably we are going to be able to choose our skills and that's going to be it. We are going to find our legendary gems, set items and equipments from the area. We have some gameplay skills, house provides concealment and there must be a treasure chest. Grass provides concealment, ultra fury increase output, sanctuary of sanctuary increase the shield, flying altar increase the movement speed, Concealment Alter, Gain Concealment, Attack or Open the Treasure Chest to release. So these are translated from Chinese so wording are little off but you get the point. We have some title type things. King of the Grass, win the championship when the number of individual defeats is less than 3. Invincible Brave in the Forest, win the championship with the most individual defeats in a single match. 5 star full legendary gems picked up. Pick up at least one 5 star full level legendary gem. And as a reward you can get moon dust, mysterious legendary equipment and other rewards. We don't know much. Now let's take a look at the other article that explains the gameplay and the mechanics a little bit more. I think this guy was invited to test the game mode and he has an article. Now we are gonna check it out. Now let's check out what this guy has to say about the game mode. I think this model is quite good. Full service promotion is a good way to play, especially the friends of the war group. Playing with voice is the best. Let me introduce you to play methods and skills. Okay, let's go. I'm not sure if we can play this with a pre-selected players or it has to be random. Maybe we know when we read it. I think this is the registration screen of the game mode. It kinda looks like the vault. But I'm not sure if we can pre-select our party or it has to be random. We don't know that. There are two ways to form a team. It is a random group of individuals to start a match. Looking for a team is to make sure that 4 people start to match. When looking for a team, you can match teammates and career. Generally, there are many people who choose this match. So it's little unclear, I am still not sure if we can play with our friends in a party. We will see. In a game there are 24 people and 6 teams. Condition of victory. A total of 24 people, the team killed half of 24 people or eliminated other teams to achieve the final victory and the whole team died. And this is the most important part, fair game. Everyone is in level 1, strangers can be upgraded, there are many small treasures in the room to get equipment, kill players can take opponents equipment and legendary gems. 
So still we are not sure how we are gonna get legendary gems on this map, but probably from chests or other things, I'm not sure. And when you defeat a player, you are gonna be able to take their equipment and legendary gems, just like in any other Battle Royale game. Map skills, there are grasses on the map that can be hidden, the altar can be exported, the house can be hidden and there must be a treasure chest. So we can hide in the grass and the houses, it looks like. There's altars, can maybe give us health potions or any other buffs. And this looks like the map, as you can see it's shrinking to the selected area. All players in the start will move together and then find the landing point together. So I'm not sure what that means. Map landing point. It is very important to transmit one point. It must be people at the specific landing position. You can also manually control the specific landing point. It looks like we are gonna choose our starting point at the beginning of every single game. When landing you can control the landing point. To scatter will be set on fire if you touch a team that will play. I'm not sure what that means. We can see there are very many red dots, yeah, of course they are the enemy players. Battlefield information column, he is talking about this. When you enter the game, you can see the information column on the left. The number of total people is 24. The highest level of personal grade is 10, so I guess we start with level 1 and level up to 10. And the skill mix is selected before we enter. So we are gonna choose our own skills before entering the game. Teammates in the first game will not and they will be broken one by one when they go in and play each. So this game must go together and land together for one point. This is the most critical thing. So it's trying to say playing together is very important for this game mode. Of course, it's a battle royale mode. It should be important. After being killed, you will be on the verge of death, but you can be saved by your teammates. So they can recover you in a time period and then you can move on playing, I guess. Demon Bread Warning, so it's a poison gas type of thing. The information column in the upper left corner will tell you the time and the remaining time of the impending circle. Don't chase people blindly, you must look at your teammates and act together, of course. And you are gonna get set items from treasure chests. Well of life, blood volume can be supplemented but it cannot be interrupted during the process. Blood volume probably means life and you can recover your life from these things. And in this picture he is showing the rooms. And rooms have one treasure chest inside of them. Equipment upgrade. Picking up equipment will prompt an arrow. And many times there is no time to watch it. As long as there is an improvement change. Okay. This is just like in the fractured planes. Killing other players also requires our teammates to guard together. So as not to be saved by each other teammates. So of course when you kill someone you have to watch for his teammates too. Legendary gems can also be obtained in the deer by forest mode. I'm not sure if you are gonna keep the legendary gem for yourself after the game, probably not. When the gem holes in the 6 orange pits were empty, upgrading our equipment enhancement level will also be upgraded. Upgrading is equivalent to automatic attribute enhancement. So I'm not really sure what he is trying to say, but I guess when you upgrade your items, these gear levels are going up as well, I guess. This is the state after getting the gem. We can see that level 8 straightening is only 14, while level 10 straightening to 18. I am not sure about this, but maybe your gear level is affected by your legendary gem rank. I am not sure. So just like any other battle royale mode, we have the gas coming up and the save points are randomly selected. After the circle reaches a certain range, a lot of edit monsters will appear. These monsters will affect us and attack us by other players. Pay attention to your life. Gladiator supply box similar to airdrop supply will give a lot of green clothes and gemstones and other good things. It is indeed a wave of supplements but we don't want to get it all, all one. This supply is also to read and is easy to get interrupted so team needs to get it. I think what he's trying to say is this supply probably will be shown on the map so a lot of teams gonna come here and there is gonna be a fight most likely. And you might not be able to open it up by yourself, but I'm not sure, maybe you can. And actually it looks like you can open it up by yourself, so we will see. And here he's talking about set items. Of course these are gonna be random drops, so you are not gonna be able to make a good combination right away. But use them anyways, because it's just better than nothing. So I guess this is his first win. I'm sure his two teammates are dead, but they won. GG's to them. This is the end screen after you finish the game. 
So I think they won the game by defeating 12 players. He killed 8 of them and the teammates killed 4 of them and they won the game. These are the rewards, nothing special. But I think this game mode is gonna be so much fun. Especially since it's a free to play friendly and a fair game mode. Let's check this out too. It is 6 orange costumes to enter which means equipment. We are gonna use only 6 pieces of our gear, not 8 pieces. So we are not gonna have stances. Talented location board machine is useful. I am not sure what he is trying to say. But maybe he is talking about the importance of the starting point selection. I think this game mode is going to be fun since it's fair and free to play. I hope we get it in the next update. That's all for now. See you in the next one and take care.